Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's word to you today. Hey, today is Friday. Praise God. Listen, all week we've been sharing, all month really, we've been sharing with you on the glory of Jesus. And listen, there are very important, just in case you're watching me for the first time, there are very important things I have shared this week especially, and I don't want you to miss it. So Friday affords you that opportunity to go listen to everything we've shared from Monday to this one today friday praise god and i bless god that he will open your eyes to see that which is true praise god are you ready can we call for that daily bread and now listen we're calling for today's daily bread we're calling for what will last us till the weekend till till next week pray throughout the whole weekend are you ready release your faith with me now say father i demand from you my daily bread it's coming to me now in jesus name amen praise god thank you lord jesus we've been on the glory of jesus jesus said the glory i know my no british kelita you see i've just been meditating on what you know his his mind concerning what he said that day may be one I know that. Can you see the heart of Jesus? No, you know, sometimes people people um, get to a better place. Human beings now. They get to a better place and they don't want anybody to be there. So they don't even share their secrets. They say, what's your secret? <laughs> if you know what I have passed through, if you know what I sacrificed to get to where I am, just leave that matter. You know, people, human beings talk like that. But here is Jesus saying to the father the glory you have given me i have given it to them he didn't even say lord i'm thinking of he said i have given to them and then he says the purpose of that is so that they will be one ah. let's look at that scripture there are there are there's something jesus said under that I told you anytime we look at this, the, the word of the Lord opens to us. I told you a few days ago, this is not the word of God. But this is written for us to believe because this is truth. Okay. And this is quoting Jesus, right? But then when we look at it, it opens up the word of God. What was the word of God? The speaking of the Holy Spirit to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? So now. It says, and the glory which thou givest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I, now look at the next verse, verse 23. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the whole, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Wonderful one. This oneness. is going to prove something to the world and what's it going to prove that god loves us not even loves us god has loved us the same way he loved jesus no different he doesn't love us less he does he does you know, it's easy to say, oh, God loves us because of Jesus. You want to know the truth? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. What are you trying to say? Is it not because of Jesus that God loves us? Ah, no. 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 He loved us before he sent Jesus. Are you getting it now? Popular scripture we all quote. For God so loved. See, he made us. And he made us perfect. He loved the one he made. Not the one you're dealing with today. 
Are you understanding what I'm saying? He loved the one he made. Now we are vessels. He made us as vessels, remember? Living souls. But actually when, he cre when the Father created us from the beginning, he created us spirit beings. But then the walking of the Holy Spirit walking in us, building, formed man from the dust of the ground and then caused the reproduction to begin to happen. So we are reproducing our reborn. When we reproduce, what do we reproduce? We reproduce, we reproduce living souls. Okay. And now, the Father sees us beyond what we see ourselves. And what does the Father see in us? His creation. Ah, you know, next week I'm going to share with you on the faith of God. I'm excited about it already. Hey, so the Father sees His perfect creation in us, even when we were yet vessels. And here comes Jesus speaking and he says, let this happen. So I've given them the glory. Now, Jesus will not do what is not the will of the Father. <laughs> so it, it's not like Jesus went against the Father to give us the glory. No. It was the Father's will from the beginning. This is why Jesus came. So now Jesus is reporting to the Father. I have done it already. I have given them the glory you gave me. And, and so that they will be one. As we are one. That the world will know. Now when he says the world will know. Who is he referring to? He's referring to the people in the world. And... Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know what the Holy Spirit just said to me now? You know, I just said, the people of the world. He said, no, not just the people of the world. Every element that makes up the world. Ah. Sometimes when we say the world, we just think about people, you know. But thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The elements of the world, everything that God created that constitutes the world, the people, the dust of the ground, the weather, everything that constitutes this world. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They are all waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So when Jesus, ah yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So when Jesus was saying, now, now pardon me, please. This is just what, how, how, you know, how I do my Bible study, praise God, and, and word study. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, so when Jesus said, that the world will know that you sent me and that you have loved them as you have loved me. Not that you will love them. No, that you have loved them. Hey. It means that the world will know that I am the one. So, we believe Jesus is the one. But the world is watching to know if there is another that will come after Jesus to bring forth salvation, okay? But now because the world understands, and when I say the world, the elements, now the Holy Spirit is just bringing this forth in my spirit and I'm sharing with you. So the world understands that salvation is going to come to the world, okay? And the world understands that after the one, the Messiah comes, there is going to be a people that will emerge and these people that will emerge will bring forth truths and manifest truths everywhere so they've seen Jesus come and Jesus is done with his work 
And Jesus now is saying, Father, I have left the glory with them so that the world will know that you have sent me, meaning that I am the one you sent. And beyond that, that these are the ones that they are waiting for. So they will understand that you have loved them as you loved me. So what does that tell you? The world will embrace them and walk with them in the fulfillment of what Paul says, the annex expectation of the creation waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. Who are the sons of God? Those that carry the glory. Peter says, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Everyone that carries Christ is the son of the living God. Praise God. Yes, that's who we are. Mm. The world will know that the world will know. Hey, the earth will know. Every element will know. Hey, you know what God said? I lay the other. You remember Jesus spoke one time. No, Jesus was preaching one time and, and he prayed to the Father. And God spoke. He said, this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. The world is commanded to hear the beloved son of God. And when God spoke that word, trust me, he wasn't talking about only Jesus. The character of the beloved is Christ. Because now Jesus is saying, Christ in us will cause the love of the Father to be known or to be made manifest in us. And then the world will hear us. The world will know. This is heavy. This is heavy. This is heavy. Colossians chapter 1. You see, it may take some of you a while to understand what I'm sharing with you now. I know that already. But I'm sharing this with you and putting it in this space so that one day you'll still come back to it and it will make more deeper sense to you. But there are few who are listening to me right now and they're like, this is just it. Why? Because the Holy Spirit have been dealing with them and teaching them. And so I'm bringing this truth by the Spirit of God also. And they are hearing me. And as they hear me, they are not wondering, what is, what is he saying? They are like, ha! Ah. Now, now, cause see, Line must be upon line. Precept must be upon precept. And who's doing, who's, who's placing line upon line, precept upon precept? The Holy Spirit. That's what he's doing in us. But that doesn't mean if God has given you truth, you hold it or heard it. Speak it out. Tanamada koso pradila haske. Colossians chapter 1 verse 25. I want you to look at this. Mm. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God which is given to me for you. To fulfill the word of God. Paul is saying here, I was made a minister for you in order that the word of God will be fulfilled. What, what word of God being fulfilled to make them know? Watch this. Hold on. Ah, verse 26. Even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations. Did you see that? But now is, being, is made manifest to his saints to whom God will make known what is the riches of of the glory of this mystery amongst the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, 
the hope of glory. Paul says, I was made a minister for this very reason. Now, Paul healed the sick. Paul cast out devils. Paul preached in so many places. But this was the call. Now, same thing with us. Every one of us have the call that God has given. If God calls you, there is one thing He's raised you to release. There is one thing He's raised you to bring forth into the world. Every other thing, just like, you know, when, when, when Jesus asked, who do you say I am? They could have said, oh, you're the miracle worker. They would have been wrong, even though he was working miracles. Oh, you're the healer. They would have been wrong, even though he was healing. Oh, you're the one who forgives sins. They would have been wrong, even though God forgave sins. Jesus forgave sins. And he said it one time, he said, so that you will know that the Son of God has power on earth to forgive sins. But when Peter said, you are the Christ, he said, who I who am? Who am I? He said, you are the Christ. The Son of the living God. Paul says, look, I was made a minister for this reason to reveal Christ in you, to make you know that God has ordained this, that Christ in you is the hope of glory. And like I said, I don't know why he used the choice of word, the hope of glory. I think he should have said the manifestation of glory because now Christ is already in us. We don't hope for glory. We manifest the glory. Jesus wasn't hoping for glory on the earth. He was manifesting the glory on earth. We today, carrying Christ, we are manifesting Him. We are manifesting the glory. Everywhere you enter, let me tell you this. Being defeated should be something that you eliminate from your vocabulary, eliminate from your mind and your eyes you cannot be defeated you can never be a failure don't you get it that god wants the world to know that he has loved you don't you get it try you see you need to pay attention to these words and meditate on them. Meditate on this truth. Who are you? No, call your name and ask yourself, who are you? You know, they knew him as Jesus, right? Now, whatever, you know, some people say, his name is not Jesus, his name is Yeshua and Mashiach. Listen. <laughs> his name is Jesus. When we call Jesus, we know who we're referring to. But Peter said, you who's already known as Jesus, you are the Christ. Same way, you who is already known as Emmanuel, you who's already known as Tonya, you who's already known as Ebubedike. <laughs> Praise God. He was already known as whatever. You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. That means the earth is the world is under authority to hear you. Do you know what that means? While the earth hear you, because the display of God in you is the same display of God that was in Jesus go meditate on this father i pray you bring your children to this perfect understanding let us hear and know it let us hear and know it holy spirit the season for the manifestation of glory is here the time for the world to know that we are here has come. 
Therefore, let all the elements of the world begin to respond to us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Have the best weekend ever. I love you very much. See you on Monday. Bye.